the properties of water, the most unadulterated water, that means Gangambu or the water which falls from the sky has been mentioned here and how it actually gets transformed when it comes in contact with the sun, moon, wind or the land and season. Welcome to yet another episode under the world as doshas. Okay, um, under the shloka of the week, this week we are going to see the qualities of water. Okay, you know that life exists, life started from water and life exists because of water. So what are the qualities of water which has been mentioned by Ashtanga Hridaya? Okay, so here it is the Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana 5th chapter. The first and the second shlokas. And here in the shloka of the week, it is about the qualities of water. So let us see what the shloka says. What Bhattacharya, what does he say about the qualities of water? Okay. This is how the shloka goes. Jeevanam tarpanam hridyam hladi buddhi prabodhanam tanu avyaktarasam rishtam shitam leghu amurdopamam gangambu Nabaso bhrishtam sprashtam tu arkendu marutehi hita hita tvetat bhuyo desha kala apekshate. This is slightly a long shloka. That's okay. Now let us see the transliteration. Okay. So, jivanam tarpanam hridyam hladi buddhi prabodhanam tan avyaktrasam rishtam bhrishtam lagu amrutopamam gangambu nabaso bhrishtam sprashtam tu arkendu marutehi hita 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 tve tad bhuyo desha kala desha kala avapekshate. Okay, now this is basically about water, which the purest form of water, Gangambu, we call that. Okay, Gangambu is a water which comes from the sky. So that is the purest water, and uh, the qualities of that has been mentioned. Now let us see. Okay, so Jeevanam Tarpanam, so rainwater, Gangabu from the side, Nabaso Vrishtam, okay, Nabaso Vrishtam is that which is coming from the sky, is Jeevanam, Jeevanam means is the one that sustains life, Tarpanam, Tarpanam means it actually makes you feel satiated, okay, you feel fulfilled, Jeevanam Tarpanam Hladi, okay, Hridyam, that means it brings joy to the body, buddhi prabodhanam, it actually ignites. So in the sense you get up in the morning, okay, you wash your face with water, drink a little bit of water, suddenly your, you know, your uh, mind opens up. Then tanu, tanu is, it means it is soft, avyaktarasam, avyaktarasam is that you cannot determine the taste of water, even though, yeah, it is, it is slightly on the sweeter side, but it is something which is some which is avyakta that is not defined or not very clear. Okay, Vrishtam, it's actually tasty even though it doesn't have taste. It's tasty. Shitam, it is cold to touch and also once you drink it, it cools your system also. Lagu, okay, Lagu is light. It digests pretty fast. Amruto pamam, it is compared to nectar. That means it is something which will give you life okay amrita means that will not let you die so water is is that important then what happens in arkendu marutehi that's how the shloka goes when it arka okay arka indu marutehi arka is sun indu is moon and marutehi is wind so when it comes in contact with arka indu and marutehi then it becomes useful or not in the sense sometimes water can get bad due to pollutants in the air and all those things, lot of things or you know then and depending upon the land and season. Hita Hita Tve. Okay, if you go to the previous sloka, you can see that. Okay, Hita Hita Tve Tad Bhuyo. That happens how Desha Kala Apopeksha. Depending upon the land and the season, the qualities of the water can change a little bit. Okay, suppose the land is full of fertilizers, you know which people do a lot of a lot of times nowadays, all chemical fertilizers, what will happen? The quality of the water goes down. Or if the water, if it falls into a very, very dirty place, 
that water is not something which you can consume. But when it comes directly from the sky, that's the reason why people catch water when it comes directly from the sky and they consume it and that is considered to be the best water. Okay, so this is what they have been told about water. So water plays a very, very, very important role in all of us know that in our life. Ashtanga Hrdeyas gives that much of important to, importance to water. Okay, so a little bit deeper. Okay, water is just, as you know, water is not just chemically, yes, um, you, you mix two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of uh, oxygen, you will get water. Chemically in the lab, you can make water, but the quality of water depends upon the effect of the sun, moon, wind and the place where it is got from. So if, in my opinion, if you are from a certain land, okay, but if the land is completely polluted, then I don't, I don't uh, advocate that too much, but otherwise, okay, interior part where there are no chemical factories and not too many chemicals are being used to actually spray on the trees or for, for, for uh, agriculture, the water which gets accumulated, the groundwater which gets accumulated in that area actually suits you better than water from some other point. Okay, because water is not only two hydrogen molecules and you know, and uh, one, uh, one oxygen. It is much beyond. It, it's got a lot of dissolved minerals, okay, uh, vitamins and all those things which it takes from the land. So water is something which is very important and Ashtanga explains it really beautiful. Okay, thank you.